uh, getting on the dual carriageway now, and it's, it's, it's here where this car's a bit of a star, because you wouldn't think it was that quick, but this is, this is actually a 150 mile an hour Ferrari, and um, yeah, it feels like it. was at rush hour when this car first came out. It's coming up for its uh, 46th birthday. Which is quite a, quite a big number to get your head around really. How many of today's cars will be around in 46 years time? It's got a, um, a turning circle that would probably challenge um, a, a Land Rover Defender in its uselessness. Um, so yeah, it doesn't do three point turns, it does six or seven point turns. Um, so it's best to know where you're going. I don't quite know where I'm going, I sort of do. It's sort of Belgravia Square, but beyond that, not quite sure. One of the things that always gets me about this car is um, how many keys you need for it. You've got um, this one, this one starts it. Um, this one does uh, doors, this one does uh, that's boot, and that one does the glove box. Yeah, so you need four keys to run this car, which just seems slightly bizarre. Final leg home. The way this engine revs, uh, you sort of expect it to be slightly lazy on the throttle, but it's just instant on the throttle. Uh, the other surprise is all its power really is at the top end. Um, it's not a lazy engine at all. Um, it does its best work around four and a half, up to seven, four and a half, five, and it absolutely flies. So it's about seven seconds to 60, something like that. Great to hear the carburetors. Down the road, 
apparently Enzo uh, wasn't happy with the ride when the uh, Ferrari did it to begin with. So it was too firm. This is not a race car, this is a GT car. And actually got um, some guys from the UK uh, to help out. But he wanted it to ride. I have to say, it's just a beautiful way it absorbs bumps and things. And the other thing, it's just got a really comfy interior as well. Yeah? Actual upholstery and front seats and things. They're from a different era. run that. Oh, it's about 120 miles there and back. Didn't miss a beat. You notice I'm still full of petrol, even though it's probably about a third full. I'm going to have to get that fixed. That's going to catch me out one of these days. But um, yeah, I hope that gives you a better idea what a 1965 Ferrari 330 is like. Oh, peace.